All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to WMAC Now with your host, Chuck Stevenson, coming at you with some fight news out of Deep Jewels in Japan. So the Japanese all-female promotion has released the full lineup for their 26th event, which is going to take place at Karakuen Hall in Tokyo on Tuesday afternoon, October 22nd. Um... Yes, Tuesday the 22nd. We'll go over the uh, lineup here real quick. A little bit of uh, info on each fighter. So first up is a 97-pound, I believe they call it, microweight fight between Yasuko Tamada, who is 16, 10, and 3, and she's taking on the much less experienced Katori Tamiya, who is only 1 and 0. Now, normally... I would get pissed off over this type of matchmaking to me. Someone who's only had one fight taking on someone who's had almost 30 is ridiculous. However, Tamada is 52. Okay, she's 52 and still competing. And so to me, this is like the experience fact difference is being made up by the youth speed and athleticism factor, presumably. So this is the one time I will let off the Japanese matchmakers for, you know, just absolute ridiculousness as far as uh, the experience level between the two fighters. Um, next up at 49 kilogram catch weight is going to be Nanaka Kawamura, 2 and 4, taking on Otoa Nagao. One and one. Now, this is what you would call a uh, like a soft touch, a uh, gimme fight, like a in between fight, really, for Kawamura. Uh, she is a member of like a pop group and what they call an idol group in Japan. It's called uh, Kam and Joshi, the Mask Girls, and. Ever since Kawamura signed with Deep Jewels, they have done the halftime, like intermission show for each Deep Jewels event, and their uh, ticket sales and admissions have gone up way big. So this is like uh, Kawamura's coming off a loss. So this is uh, like a, a comeback fight for her, is what this is. I don't particularly agree with it. Um, but I under, actually understand what they're doing as far as this one goes. Uh, next up is another 49 kilogram fight between Pan Kai Hui, 5 and 4, and she's taking on Mizuki Furuse, 6 and 7. Uh, I see this as a pretty winnable fight for Pan Hui. What little I've seen of Mizuki Furuse is nothing to be impressed with. Uh, next up. A flyweight fight between Yukari Nabe, 6-3-1, and, and she is taking on Kaujai the Rocket, whose real name is Kaujai Prachamwong, who is 0-3. I don't know what to make of this matchup at all. I guess they're giving Nabe a win. I mean, yeah, this is some bad matchmaking here. Uh... As far as Pratchum Wong, she's here on like a package deal with another fighter who's later in the event. And I think this was like a way for Deep Jewels to get book two fights and save on uh, air travel and stuff for the fighters. I don't know. Uh, next up, an Adam Wade fight. Uh, John Un Park, 5, 6, and 1, taking on Emi Sato who is 4 and 3. This fight I like. It is a winnable fight for either fighter. Um, I would slightly favor Park in this. Uh, Park is coming off a win back in, I believe it was June, over a debuting fighter. Sato is coming off a loss to Suenon Boonsorn, in which she got easily taken down and almost had her arm ripped off. Uh, so honestly, yeah, winnable fight, 
winnable fight for either of them. I would slightly favor Park here. Okay, next up, also at Adam Weight, the growing in popularity in Japan, or at least in controversy, Suenam Boonsorn, 5 and 1, taking on Korea's Yunha Hong, uh, 3 and 4. Like John Un Park, Hong is a, a Road FC veteran on loan from Road FC. Uh, I believe that if there were to be betting lines for this fight, Boonsong would be heavily p favored. However, Yun Ha Hong also has a strong, a strong grappling game. Now, where Boonsorn is going to have the advantage in this is in the stand-up, but she likes to try to fight on the ground. Uh, she honestly thought she was going to be able to hang with Ayaka Hamasaki on the ground, which didn't work out for her. If she tries that against Yun Ha Hong, she could also be in trouble. Uh, so I'm very much looking forward to this fight. Uh, we'll see what it brings. At flyweight, Kana Watanabe, 7-0-1, taking on Hyun Khan, who is making her pro debut. I'm not going to lie. This is a garbage matchup. This is trash. You're 7-0-1. This is a gimme fight for Kana Watanabe, who is long past the point of needing... Give me fights. I don't think she's ever going to face a credible opponent in Japan other than she's a Kasugiyama. And Watanabe will probably never leave Japan, so this is what we get with her. Uh, next up is a 63 kilogram fight. King Reina, 11 and 3, taking on Diamond Rose the Rocket. Uh, whose real name is, I believe, Cal Katapa, who is making her pro debut. This is another one of those fights. It's like, geez, will you quit it with the gimme fights already? Uh, King Reina is, this is going to be a soft touch, a bounce back fight for her. Uh, she's coming off a loss in Ryzen, I believe. Let me check real quick here. Yeah, she's coming off a loss to Stephanie Ager back in July at Ryzen 17. So this is a soft touch for her to get back in a win column. Basically, this is going to be, they're going to give her a win or two. And then Ryzen will bring her back in. And then she'll probably lose in Ryzen. And then she'll go back down. Some deep jewels. Get a couple easy touches. Rinse, wash, repeat. Because this has basically been her career. Well, she did get, ah, uh, I'm sorry. She did get one, two wins in Ryzen against fighters of lesser experience. But anytime Reyna faces a decent opponent, she loses. So this is a soft touch to guarantee her a win. That's your co-main event. And then in the main event is an atom weight title fight between Tomo Maesawa, 12 and 10, versus Emi Tomomatsu, 15 and 14. Now, Maesawa is coming off a two-fight skid. However, both were up several pounds at Super Atom Weight. First was against Kana Asakura at Deep Jewels 23. That was back in March. And then in July, she lost at Super Atom Weight in Ryzen 17 to Sahi Ham. Uh, she defeated the previous Atom Weight champ, Mina Kurobi back in December and hasn't defended the title since. So now she is taking on Emi Tomomatsu 15 and 14 who is coming off a win. She's actually coming off two straight wins in MMA. Uh, she defeated Hikaru Aono back in March and then recently defeated Mizuki Furuse back in June. So you got a fighter who hasn't lost a while at atom weight, but is coming off two losses at a higher weight class. Defending her title against Challenger, who's coming in with a couple wins. And honestly, skill set wise and experience wise, I think this is a good fight. Um, I would favor, slightly favor, Maisawa. 
She's shown uh, a better game against better competition more recently than Emi Tomomatsu has. <coughs> so I'm picking to my Sawa to win this one. Anyway, that is the Deep Jewels uh, 26 uh, finalized lineup as of right now. Of course, it's a month away, so we'll have to see how that goes. But anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Uh, likes are always appreciated. And hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. And hit that bell for notifications. We'll see you next time.